you ever see something or watch something that just instantly makes you so angry you could probably punch somebody square in the tit? That just happened to me. Courtesy, once again, of the gift that just keeps on giving, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Because in reality, she really doesn't have anything left to lose but her election. I would also like to preface this entire video with the fact that no human is illegal on stolen land. America is literally a melting pot of people from all over the world. Unless you are indigenous, you are an immigrant. Roll the tape. Joe Biden's 5 million illegal aliens are on the verge of replacing you replacing your jobs and replacing your kids in school and coming from all over the world, they're also replacing your culture. And that's not great for America. The First and foremost, I would like to remind everybody that immigrants are the hardest working motherfuckers in this country because I don't see her or any other white dude lining up to go pick strawberries for $4 an hour and maybe some basic shitty group housing. When I worked in real estate, they were literally the people building your houses here in Florida. And additionally, when I worked in real estate, they were also the ones that on the first of the month would come there with their money order and pay their rent. You know why white people are pissed off about immigrants? Because they make you look bad. They have a better work ethic. Furthermore, Marjorie, if you are white, if you are Caucasian, if you share the same iridescent tone of skin that I have, you are not from here. You are an immigrant. Your ancestors came here from another place for a better life so that you could have the freedom to stand up and spew that bullshit that comes out of your fucking mouth. And last but not least, I would like to remind everybody my stance on immigration. If you walk here, if you walk to America with a toddler pregnant if you if you make that walk no matter what welcome home we are happy to have you and i hope that you are safe from what you had to flee just like my grandmother was afforded during world war 2 when she came from poland <laughs>